Okay, uh, my name's Nige, and this is my Renault Traffic camper van conversion. Uh, it's a 2005, um, 192 kilometer uh, old builder's van, basically. I mean, it's in good condition. It's it's uh, it's not been bashed about. A lot of builder's vans get bashed about, and and this was I picked this one because it was uh, not only was it the right price, but it, it hadn't been bashed about. Um, so yeah, well, I'll take you for a quick walk around, and then I'll show you inside. So as you can see. It's not too bashed about, like I said earlier, no um, no massive dints or anything. You get a few little paint chips on the bonnet and there's the odd scuff on the bumper and things like that. But on the whole, it's in nice shape. So yeah, I'm sure you've seen uh, many, many of these on the road, so you don't need me to talk you through it too much. I uh, put the awning on. I haven't got a roof rack, uh, so I had to fashion some brackets to to make that work. And also on the roof, don't know if you can see, I've got a, a fan that I fitted, uh, which is great in summer. It's uh, it, it was a godsend actually. It, uh, in the, at night in the hot nights here in Australia. Um, so yeah, look. Let's have a look inside. Okay. So what I wanted to do. Because here in Australia, we, we, we live around the coast. Everywhere seems to be around the coast. I mean, obviously, you, people do live inland, but the bulk of it is around the coast. So I wanted to go with a, a kind of a beachy feel, which is why I've done it in the way I've done it. And I'll, I'll grab the camera and I'll show you inside. So what I've done is I've gone for this kind of weathered look. So I've, I've painted and painted and painted and sanded and sanded until I got this this kind of weathered look. It was kind of back in the UK, when I was living back in the UK, it was it was in for a while. You know, people used to do this and then they, they didn't, but it's, I think it works in this this kind of scenario where it's uh, in a van. I think it looks quite, quite sweet. So yeah, um, I'll just quickly run you through the drawer. I mean, who wants to see people with drawers, but I'm going to do it anyway. So look, that one's a pull down. It's the only pull down uh, door there is. And I'd keep a few tools, some extra water in there. And you can see there's a flashlight and stuff. So it's there for putting kind of miscellaneous, useful stuff. The rest are just simple drawers. So uh, what we did when we went away, me and my partner, we, uh, we used these two drawers here for clothes that we needed inside and the rest went in, in some packing cases that we kept in the drawers uh, on the outside. I'll show you those in a moment. So we simply we've got, there you go, loo rolls, uh, gas, chopping board and bits like that in there. You know, you, again, you might, one might want to use that for food or something. I don't know, tins and things, I don't know, it depends on you know, how you want to set it out yourself. Fridge is very simple. So it, it's actually a 240 fridge. So it's a, a house fridge. And the reason why I put that in is one, if you do the maths, it works off the inverter and doesn't use any more or less power than a 12 volt, except it's hundreds of dollars cheaper. And it looks dead smart and it does the job. And again, I've used this many times and it, it's, it's just been brilliant. Um, I've got the switch bank there, or the bank of switches, should I say, and the meter for the battery and, and things like that, and that, that just switches the inverter on and off from in here rather than going outside and around the back to do it. Unfortunately, I, I bought this bank of switches and I just didn't need them all. At the moment, I'm only using three on there, so that leaves five for anything that wants to be, wants to be added later. Um, again, just simple. Drawers. I use these for 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 food tins and things like that, and I put my kettle and and stuff in there and spare gas and things. But it's it's not something I particularly decided where things are going to go permanently. This is uh, the junk drawer. Uh, obviously, everybody's got a drawer that they put all bits of stuff in, and the cookery and stuff so yeah just obvious stuff really this up here i thought this was a nice little touch 
because it one it enabled me to put a couple of plug sockets in a, a, a good place this one here runs off the mains power and uh, you know when it when it's hooked up and that one runs off the inverter so at the moment I'm charging the battery for this camera uh, but you plug your computer in there and it will charge off the batteries um, again simple cupboard keep cups and tea and coffee and things like that in there but again you put whatever you like in there. Uh, the uh, sink has actually a salad bowl, which uh, I guess you might have seen on other videos. People sometimes do that because it's a good size and it works. And I've got a uh, pump. If I just put the pump on, so that's quite a simple. Mm -hmm. And that just drains outside. I'll show you where that drains in a minute. And things like this because. You know, in a small van, you've got room is is you know precious. So I got these. And my idea was to things like washing up liquid, or uh, or spices, salt, pepper. You know, things like that. Um, you just it's another little room saver. And if I go inside and we go down the back there, I've got some more little boxes there for putting stuff in. You know, again, space is a premium. Now the bed, as you can see, I've gone widthways on the bed, which makes it a short bed. Me and my uh, my partner are both short asses. You know, we, we I I lie on that bed, I sleep on the bed, and it, and my feet are mm, an inch away from the other side. So it works perfectly for me. I mean, we're all arms and legs anyway. So you know, we sleep diagonally, forgotten, comfortable. Um, and I've put some nice little bedside lights in there. There's one down there for the focus. And the window is a frosted window. And there's also a blind that will pull down. I'm not going to climb all over the bed, but it'll pull down. And actually, if I just quickly swing around in here and close the door, I can show you the blind if you can bear with me a moment. These are... Um, just IKEA blinds and I cut them down if I can just peel that off try to do this one-handed so yeah I'll show you the the blind I've just pulled it pulled it down it was a bit hard to do one-handed so I had to just temporarily put the camera down but that slides up it velcros up there on the three three points one two three and it just holds up and uh, and then it just drops down and uh, yeah it's uh, it's all it's all good i've got the curtains that come across I'll just undo that the curtains that just draw across i've got one one at the, each end i want the other one at that end will pull across and the light switches up there to turn the lights on and off and what else we got we've got the fan and these timbers on the ceiling are just plywood that I've sanded and sanded to create that sort of, I don't know, what you would call that effect. But it works for me. I like that. And I think that's about it in here. So let's go back outside and I'll show you out the back. Okay. So, if I just lift the back door up. So, the good thing about having this door here as a uh, lift up door is it does give you some shelter from the rain. If you, because I this is this is where I cook. So, if I just go in the drawer, I said earlier about keeping clothes and stuff out here. Me and my uh, uh, partner we put our, we have one of these each which is amazing how much stuff you can get in these and you can see through the top as well to see what you've got in there and we have one each and they both fit in there and there's still room for the cooker which I actually put where these barbecues are and that that just leaves me well, there's the cooker there not that leaves me room in here to put obviously pots and pans and and things which I have done uh, spare gas uh, 
you keep food in here as well, tins and things like that, if, if you know, if you wanted to. So it's it's pretty versatile, really. It's amazing what you can get in if you if you're sensible about it. Underneath here, if I can just reach under, is my solar panel, which is just an open up solar panel, just folds and and then that plugs in around the side. I'll show you that shortly. Under the other one, I keep a, a table and a shower tent. Uh, I have used the shower tent once. It was a bit of a novelty. Usually I go places where I can get a shower, but I have used it and I've got a little um, $50 pump and shower head that I got off Amazon and you just drop it in a bucket of water, you know, one of those fold up buckets and it's perfect it, it actually you know put some warm water in there and it was great um so yeah that's that's the back uh i know you can't see inside very well actually if i put lights because i've left the blind down but just bear with me there you go if i put the lights on you can kind of you get a great effect at night it's quite a, a nice ambient light and there's four spots in there as well which i haven't put on but you get the general general idea and yeah and it is really comfy in there and it's it's a real nice feel when you're when you're sitting in there and it's a bit rainy outside and you're nice and dry and warm and, and it's it's all good and we we just sit on the bed if it's raining outside and we haven't got the uh, the awning out or if it's too heavy even with the awning out we just sit on the bed and, and read and do our thing you know it's, it's all it's all good and anyway i'll quickly take you around the the other side just to show you the electrics by the way that that patch there is the water that comes out of the uh, when i turn the tap on and it ran down the sink it goes through a pipe and drops out there now you can put a bucket under there if you need to capture it some campsites would desire you to to do that anyway uh where are we okay that's just the back of the fridge and that, under there is the the back of all those electrics and you know there's switches and stuff and in here is the inverter and all the gubbins a friend of mine put all this in for me uh, he's uh it's, it's his trade sort of thing so it was all set up properly i wouldn't have known what i was doing um and yeah the two batteries just allow it to be off grid and you can stay off grid for ages uh i went uh, about six days once and uh I just didn't need any more power, just solar panel charged it up and it was all good. That's the cable for the solar panel, so I just plug that into this plug here and uh, plug it into the solar panel. I chuck it on the roof or just fold it out onto the ground and it's all good. So just get a view from this side. There's my little bedside cabinets. And it's nice to sit in bed and just look out the window. I mean, at the moment I've got the van parked the wrong way, but if I was parked over there, I'd be looking out over that. And it's just really nice. Put the kettle on. Bob's your uncle. Uh, I'll show you the inside of the cab, but there's, you know, there's not a lot to see in there. Everybody's seen the inside a cab of a, a van. So yeah, look, if you can forgive me my uh, photography skills and if you if you liked what I've done, please uh, give me a bit of a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you if you didn't like it. And um, any constructive feedback will be gratefully received. And yeah, thanks again for tuning in. Thanks. <laughs>